Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift. I'm sorry, normally I release a new video every week, usually on Tuesday. I got a little busy, so I didn't have time to make this video, so I'm making it right now, and I'll, I will post it as soon as I uh, finish editing it, which, which should go pretty quickly. But if you didn't read the description, today I'm going to, um, <coughs> sorry, today in my video, I'm going to teach you how to install MS-DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.11. Uh, on an, on a VMware uh, workstation virtual machine. It's really simple to do. Now if you've never done it before it could be a little confusing if you've never used MS-DOS, if you've been alive since uh, I mean if you were only born you know since like uh, Windows XP or something you probably don't even know what MS-DOS is, you probably never used it, you never seen it. The closest you get to it now is uh, Windows uh, in Windows 10 or Windows 7 is the command prompt but even then there's not um, as many commands and stuff that you need to know um, whereas DOS was mainly just uh, a text interface where command prompt is you know built inside Windows 10, Windows 7 um, so yeah, like I said, uh, MS-DOS is, is, uh, has been out even before Windows. It's a Microsoft disk, disk operating system, and it's one of the first, uh, operating systems I used. Well, I used that and Windows 3.11 was on the first computer I got, which was a Packard Bell 486SX 33 megahertz PC that I got in, uh, I want to say 92.93. And it had, uh, uh, like I said, Windows 3.11 and uh, MS-DOS 6.22. So back then, you could run some games in Windows, but most games you had to run it in DOS. So you had to know, like, um, like for Mortal Kombat, you would have to go into Windows and exit to MS-DOS or hold Shift when uh, MS-DOS was getting ready to boot into Windows. So it would skip Windows and just, just let you stay in DOS. And then you type MK, uh, well, CD Combat or something like that. And then type MK to start it in MS-DOS. So, uh, you know, it wasn't a graphical user interface like Windows is now. Most games were ran in DOS mode back then. So I'm going to, um, <clears throat> just in case maybe you wanted to maybe run some old games the way they, they used to be ran. Like Doom 2 was originally, I played it in MS-DOS. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you can go to any torrent site and download MS-DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.11. I got these off of Pirate Bay. I would imagine Microsoft wouldn't give a shit. They don't sell MS-DOS anymore. They don't sell uh, uh, Windows 3.11. I mean, you're not going to sell Windows 3.11. Nobody's going to buy it. Nobody's going to buy MS-DOS. So let's get into it. What we're going to do is we're going to click Create a, a New Virtual Machine. And if... Just in case you're wondering, I'm using VMware Workstation Pro 15.5, which you can see right there. So we're going to click Next right here, and then we're going to uh, go to I will install the operating system later. And from here, we're going to go Microsoft Windows, and then see I've already got it selected for uh, Windows 3.1. Uh, and all that all this does is it makes it so. Uh, VMware basically sets it up with all the default stuff that you would need. Default settings, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just going to save to the virtual machine folder. Click next. Specified location appears to contain. Okay, now this is just telling me that I've got other virtual machines there. I've got no other ones named Windows 3.11. So we can just click continue. Um, split the virtual disk into multiple files. That's if you're gonna. Um, they recommend that, I guess, if you're gonna makes it easier to move from the machine to machine. But I found that it improves the performance if you just store it as a virtual uh, virtual disk as a single file. After all, you're only working with an eight gig hard drive for Windows 3.1. See, so it's gonna set up the NAT, CD, DVD, sound card, all that stuff. So then we're gonna click finish. And just so you're aware, the version I downloaded of uh, Windows 3.11 and MS-DOS 6.22, like I said, I downloaded them off of Pirate Bay. Okay, now you're going to, um, with your MS-DOS 6.22 ISO set as the boot, um, the, uh, the uh, CD image, you're going to power on your machine. And see, it's going to say starting MS-DOS. It's going to load the CD drive, well, the virtual CD drive. 
you're going to click into your draw into your virtual machine you're going to hit enter see and it says to set up ms dos now press enter so we're going to hit enter and it's going to say configure unallocated disk space hit enter is recommended then it's going to give you this please insert the following disk in drive e you're going to hit f3 to exit f3 to exit then you're going to type f disk and then you're going to go to option 2 to set active partition because dos just created a partition right there when you tried to install it enter the number of partitions you want to make active you're going to select one okay now you're going to hit escape and if you hit escape again see it's going to say system will now restart insert dos system disk get in drive a you're installing from cd-rom so what you're going to do is you're going to right click and go to well, or you can just up here whoops i just paused the damn machine okay so yeah we're going to go to power off sorry you don't pause it first just power it off and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on your 311 virtual machine and you're going to go down to where it says power and you're going to power on to firmware that's going to allow you to get into the bios without hit, having to hit f2 at the right time then you're going to go over to your boot devices you're going to you're going to use your arrow keys to go down to cd-rom and hit the plus key on your keyboard till cd-rom is at the top hit f10 to save yes and see now it's booting from the ms dos cd-rom again which is what it's supposed to do it's going to tell you invalid media type reading drive c abort and then from here hit enter and it's going to tell you the stupid thing about the floppy disk again you're not installing from diskettes you're installing from a cd-rom so hit f3 f3 and then this is the e prompt you're going to type format c drive colon hit enter warning all data on non-removable disk drive c will be lost hit enter volume label you can name it whatever you want i'm going to name mine windows i guess and there you go and so <clears throat> now you have to install ms dos so you are in the oops sorry ms dos di, uh this is the uh the e drive is the virtual cd drive where the uh iso for ms dos is loaded so i'm just going to show you you can uh type directory slash w slash p that'll show you every file on the ms dos disk but all you're going to type is setup hit enter and then see it says now to set up ms dos now press enter yep and then it's going to ask you are these settings correct it's going to use these system settings hit enter it wants to install ms dos and c drive dos hit enter remove all disks from all floppy drives hit enter and um hit enter See, and then it says MS-DOS 6.22 is now installed on your computer. To restart your computer with MS-DOS, press enter. See, now it's loading MS-DOS. It's loading the virtual CD drive. And see, it says MS-DOS 6.22 startup. Choose install MS-DOS 6.22 to overwrite current DOS installation or install CD-ROM driver if you already installed DOS and need CD-ROM support. So you're going to hit the number 2 because if you downloaded the exact um, version of Windows 3.11 and MS-DOS 6.22 that I downloaded, Windows 3.11 is a ISO CD file also, so you need CD-ROM support in DOS. Hit enter. Setting up system. Then it says remove MS-DOS setup CD from drive. So to do that, you're going to hit control alt to release your mouse so you can go to your virtual machine you're gonna right click on your virtual machine you're gonna go to settings and then you're gonna go to browse Windows 311 hit OK click back into your virtual machine hit enter oh yeah it's trying to go back to the drive okay so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna go E drive which is the CD-ROM drive. Yeah, see, it was looking for a floppy right there, which we don't have a floppy drive attached, even a virtual one. 
So we're just going to make sure. I'm just checking. Yes, it's it's recognizing the Windows uh, 3.11 ISO. So now all you're going to do is you're going to type setup. And you'll know you did it right because it's going to give you this screen. Welcome to Windows for Workgroups 3.11 setup. To set up Windows for Workgroups 3.11 now, press enter. You want to do express setup. You can customize stuff if you want. I just do uh, express, enter, and it's going to install it. And I'll tell you what, it is amazing how quick Windows 3.1 installs on newer hardware. Because when I had a 480, uh, Packard Bell 486, Windows, Windows uh, 3.11, Windows 95, Windows 98, God, it took like a half an hour. It was ridiculous. Okay, so we'll just put my name. So we'll put Chris. And we'll hit continue, continue. Oh, I'm not using a floppy drive. So you're going to click cancel because you're not using a floppy drive. You're installing from a CD-ROM. And then you're going to go um, no printer attached. Oh, yeah, it's looking on drive A again. Bullshit. Okay. Then you're just going to hit um, Windows will now install support for the following. Okay, no network installed, blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. Then we're going to hit continue. The, the updated version of your config sys file has been saved as C drive windows config win. Um, then you're going to hit OK, hit OK, and then you can watch a tutorial. I've watched it before. It's fucking boring. I mean, if you've, if you've used older windows like Windows 3 or 3.11, you know what it is. It's a lot different than Windows 95 um, and up, and you, you'll see that in a second. So then just click skip tutorial. And then return to DOS. Okay, now we're going to release that. So now <clears throat> you can just go to settings. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to use the physical drive for the CD-ROM drive and you're gonna just reset your machine see and it's gonna start MS-DOS testing everything you've got CD-ROM support in DOS and you've got mouse support in DOS and so now you're in MS-DOS you want to get into Windows it's real easy you just type whoop, click into your virtual machine and just type win oh wait CD Windows win. Okay, it's been a while. Sorry. Okay, so and here here it is. Um, so from here, you can go up to the VM and then you're going to install VMware Tools. Oh, this is click start and run. <laughs> I don't remember how to do that in 3.1. Oh shit. Oh yeah, okay. So we're going to do D drive setup. Huh. Is there Hmm. Let's see here. VMware, okay, there it is, set up, then enter, enter, huh, okay, huh, yeah, I always have to mess around in, in DOS, figure, um, the tr yeah, see, I've never tried to in install VMware, I mean, you can use Windows uh, 3.11 like this, I've never tried to say this is the first time I've installed Windows 3.11 on v VMware. So I don't know, maybe you can't install VMware tools on there. But anyway, like I said, back uh, when Windows 3.11 was the big thing, most games you ran, I'd say easily 99% of games you ran, did not run in Windows. So you would have to exit Windows and you'd go to MS-DOS. And uh, this is where you would run games at. You could either run it 
when uh, before you go into Windows when MS DOS is first booting, or you can uh, go into Windows, um, or if you're in Windows and then you exit to Windows like I just did right there, and then you run games from the command prompt. You know, you just type whatever. You know, uh, yeah. So, like I said, that is uh, Windows 3.11 on uh, VMware Workstation uh, Pro 15, and. Um, Real simple, like I said, if you follow my steps, you should be able to do it no problem. If you just download the uh, the collection that I, it's uh, Windows 3.11 and MS DOS 6.22, 17.5 megs. I got it from Pirate Bay. I really don't think Microsoft's going to care if you download this because I don't, I highly doubt they even sell it anymore. So, I said it's real easy to do. I mean, there's a lot of older games you can run in DOS. There's some games you can run in Windows 3.11. Most, like I said back in the day, I just ran all games through MS DOS because MS DOS was faster than Windows anyway. Until Windows 95 came in and changed the whole game, and then slowly, you know, Windows, uh, well, Microsoft phased out DOS, so you didn't even need to run games in DOS anymore. You can run them right in in uh, Windows, which is a lot easier. You know, then you don't have to know uh, how to get in directories and run games by using the command line and all that stuff. So. Anyway, that's my video. I love VMware Workstation. Uh, hopefully this helped you out if you wanted to play around in Windows or MS-DOS or if you were trying to install MS-DOS or Windows on your VMware work, uh, virtual machine and you're having problems. Hopefully this video helped you. Thanks for watching my video. I appreciate all likes, comments, and subs. And as always, bye for now.